landlord, you are welcome to my apartment. Uh, to what do I owe this august visit? Uh, nothing much. I just came to remind you that uh, you are still a tenant in this house. I have not sold this house to you. This house does not belong to you. So that is what I came to remind you. Are you playing? What type of playing is this? <laughs> that is funny. Landlord, I don't understand. Did I ever claim that I'm the owner of this property? I'm a tenant here. I've been your tenant for the past 11 years. So I don't understand why you need to come and remind me that I'm a tenant. Or is there something I'm missing? One day, it is very important that I remind you that you are still a tenant. Because uh, your lifestyle lately, I do not understand. Eh? Last year, you bought a brand new Lamborghini Urus. Uh, you drove it into this estate, you parked it here in this apartment. Eh? Six months ago, it was the turn of uh, Rolls Royce Phantom. You bought that one. You brought it very long into this compound. Eh? Last week, you bought a Mercedes-Benz GLK. You parked it here. So, I am beginning to wonder, each of these cars, especially the Rolls Royce Phantom, almost half a billion dollars. The Lamborghini Urus, well over $200,000. So I'm beginning to wonder if you think you are the owner of this apartment. Jesus is Lord! Landlord, come on. You know I make money every day in US dollars. And if you live in Africa or Asia and you are earning money in US dollars, you can afford almost anything. Okay? The business that has its link in the description of this video is the business that I do that pays me in dollars every day and you are aware of it. So my means of wealth is not questionable. <laughs> Look at this one serious boy. He said his means of wealth. Are you wealthy? You think that you are wealthy because you are acquiring liabilities. This man! Eh? I came here to remind you that you are still a tenant. Eh? in this house how can you be acquiring exotic and expensive cars as a tenant you bought three cars eh? and you are a tenant in the apartment and you are parking a uh, rolls royce phantom lamborghini in front of a rented apartment and i know you very well you don't even own a piece of land let alone own a building 11 years you have been a tenant you have refused to move out I'm now being threatened. Do you want to collect this house from me? Eh? Your Lamborghini can buy 10 of this apartment. Oh, I'm not too much. Your Rolls Royce can build you an entire estate. And you have remained a tenant. So it's becoming suspicious because I don't understand. Eh? You lack financial literacy. Eh? And the problem is that the girl that you are even dating... I don't know why she cannot advise you on how well to spend your money. All she cares about is holiday in Dubai, going on vacation in Hawaii. You are spoiling her. Eh? You have three liabilities as cars. Even the girl you are dating is a liability. Jesus! <laughs> Jesus! Hey! Jesus! Eh, 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 landlord. I won't have you insult my girlfriend. My girlfriend is not a liability. Please. Please, if I may ask you, in this your relationship with this your girlfriend, what does she bring to the table? Thank you. Go and ask your grandfather. Please, landlord, I make enough money from the business with the link in the description of this video. I don't need any girl to bring anything to the table. My table is very full. Thank you. You be Mumu. When I say what does she bring to the table, I don't mean material things. A woman is supposed to be a man's helpmate. And there are several ways a woman can help a man. By giving you good quality advice. By giving you moral and spiritual guidance. By giving you intellectual advice. Intellectually, this girlfriend of yours is bankrupt even morally she doesn't advise you obviously 
because the only advice she gives to you is the one that benefits her. She wants to buy the latest iPhone. She wants to vacation in choice countries all around the world, but she cannot even advise you to own a property of your own. That is embarrassing. She doesn't bring anything to the table. I don't see anything she brings to the table in this your relationship. Landlord, you say she doesn't bring anything to the table. <laughs> I laugh at you. Have you seen my baby's backside? Have you taken time to look at her bum bum closely? You are a bad boy. Big bum bum, big problem. Eh? If all your girlfriend has to bring to the table in your relationship is just a big backside, then she's of no value. See, let me tell you, you have to maintain your business, not your girlfriend. Dating an unemployed lady who is also high maintenance is the most foolish thing any young man can do. As a young man starting out in life, high maintenance women will put the greatest distance between you and success. It is like paying to carry a body. Listen, women are not rare. 50% of the entire population are women. Stop dating a liability. No matter our sensuality, never think that relationships with women are hard to come by. That is not true. Success is hard to come by. A job is hard to come by. Millionaire status is hard to come by. Prioritize. Focus on things that are harder to get. Eh? You are making money via the business in the description of this video. You need to plan your finances eh? and use your money very well. Start acquiring assets. A woman who has nothing to offer in a relationship apart from her body is a walking liability. Hmm. Landlord, I've never thought about it this way. You are quite right. A word is enough for the wise.